it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and my beautiful, amazing, talented <laughs> Aunt Jean. And we are here to share with you our Vera Bradley haul. We went shopping on Wednesday down at the Las Vegas Vera Bradley outlet. And so we have a few items to share. First, we'll go through Jean's haul. The first item is the cozy slippers. And these are in the Best in Show, or not Best in Show, sorry. They're the Christmas dogs. And they're the super soft, aren't they? And they match my blanket. They do, they match your blanket. I got her one of those ones you put your arm in, and that was her gift for Christmas. So we got that. Um, and then the second item we got, this is the magnetic to-do list in Blue Island Medallion. It has lines on the front and a magnet on the back. And right about here, um, we've got to turn around though. <laughs> right about here is there's a perforated line so you can tear off the pages oh, as you use them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they work pretty good. I have one at home, of course. I use it for my shopping list. I just write things on it as I need for groceries. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. You can use it for whatever you want. And you don't have to put it on a magnetized thing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, mm -hmm. it lays flat. And then we got the Deluxe Altogether Crossbody. Technically, it's the iconic Deluxe Altogether Crossbody. This is Raspberry Medallion. Do you want to kind of show us some of the pockets there, Jean? Jean likes the all-in-one crossbody wristlets. She's actually been using one. One with the strap. Yeah, the crossbody strap. And the crossbody strap is faux leather. Then you have the accordion section. And what we have here, we have big slot. And then how many card mm -hmm. slots are there? Six card slots, three and three. And same thing on the other side. And in the middle, you have the zipper pocket. And on the one side, you actually have a clear ID window as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So that's why we look at the pockets. Yeah. And then in this section, you have eight more cards. Oh, sorry. No, you don't. You have six more card slots, three and three. Another big slot here, so you can use that for your cash drawer, receipts, whatever you want. You have a zipper pocket, and you have a removable checkbook cover. So you can use that pocket by itself, or you can put this in there. And this, you know, it has the, just a simple sleeve on both sides. What's that zipper here? Um, it's just a pocket, so you can put mm. things behind there. Okay. Um, and the back of the checkbook cover does have another clear ID window. So if you just mm -hmm. want to take that with your ID, you can mm -hmm. do that. Um, you also can flip it around backwards so you have that extra card slot on the front of it to use in here. So mm -hmm. that's up to you. Do you want me to put it backwards so mm -hmm. you remember it's there? Mm -hmm. There you go, so. Okay, so she's gonna give that a test and see if she likes it. And if she does, I will send her another one because I have one. All right, and then they were having a special this is the Grand Tote 2.0. You can show them so they can see the pattern. The pretty purple colors. Look at the size of the base on that thing, Jean. Let's yeah. just turn it this way. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, look how big that bag is. Yeah. You can really see all the pretty purples. This is Paisley Amethyst. And the deal was it was like $19.99 or $19.98, something like that. It was 20 bucks for a beautiful tote. It is a simple tote. Not a lot of organization, but there are some pockets. How many are there? Two. A zipper and two pockets. Let's show them. We got a zipper on the back. You can't see it because it's dark in there, but there it is. There's a zipper. And then on the opposite side, may I? Mm -hmm. On the opposite side here, we have two slip pockets in the middle. And it is a slicky nylon type of interior. So two slip pockets right there in the middle. But that's it. That's the organization. No pockets on the outside. It's very simple, yeah? And Jean picked that color because she's a purple lover, just like me. Uh, who got you addicted to Vera? You did. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Yeah, but I also love purple, coincidentally, so I bought one for myself as well. Exact same thing. And then I also got what they call the factory style large Glenna. This is like a combination. Do you want to show us things? Um, this is like a combination of the Glenna and the pleated tote because that kind of went away from the retail style. But there you get a look at the base of it. This does have a, sem a semi-solid piece in there that, is it removable? No. Like on the side, there's like a... No. No? Not removable? Mm -hmm. Okay. And on this one, you have pocket on the front. You want to stick your hand down there? Yep, just like the Glenna's. And then you have side pockets. So you can put a water bottle, keys, phone, whatever. And on the Glenna's, the old Glenna's, you have that middle pocket on both sides. On the large Glenna, you only have that on the front, yeah? And then inside, you wanna show them the inside? The inside 
uncharacteristically is not black, which is actually a really good thing. It's gray, so it's not a deep, dark hole inside, which is nice. But on the back here, you have a zipper pocket, and on the front, you have three pockets across the front. Yeah, there you go, Jean. Nice view. Thank you. Um, it does have a recessed zipper, and it is a um, flap style, so you get a little bit extra capacity at the top. These straps themselves have a good amount of strap drop. Do you want to show us on your shoulder there? Can you? You don't have to stand up or anything. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, see, a nice strap drop, pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. And it has that little curve here underneath your armpit, so it kind of fits nicely. And then the other thing I'll say, first of all, we didn't even say the pattern. That's my mistake. This is a newer pattern in Stellar Paisley. So you can kind of see the black and white. And I'm going to put it up closer for a sec. You can kind of see the dots are kind of a gray color. That's where the gray on the interior ties in, which is nice. And these straps have metal fittings here, which does allow them to lay flat. I like that. Mm. The other good thing about those is we like to clip things on our bags, right? So your keys, mm. your chapstick, your bag charms, things like that. So yeah, that's that. And then, um, yeah, then we got some things to go with it, starting with a newer version. This is a three-piece cosmetic set in Stellar Paisley. Um, and we could take all the pieces out if you like. It's a clear plastic outer. Great for storing things like under your vanity and whatnot. Like put all your medicine pill bottles and you can see exactly what's in it. And then used to be a four-piece, but the newer version here has just three. The outer plastic and two inners. Yeah, it has a nice coordinating trim all the way around. Uh, not a special trim, but the pattern itself, I mean. Nice handle on the top, so it's great to grab and move things around. I use them all the time under my, the older version I have, but very similar. And then the larger of the two internal pieces is kind of like a miniature brush up case. Um, it's pretty simple, it's unstructured, but there you go. It has stuffing in it, but there's no, let's make sure I'm not talking out my butt. Yeah, no, no internal organization or anything, it's just, just the nylon interior, but that's cool. And then the smaller piece is a nice size actually for cosmetics. So I bought this to use this piece in my new large Glenna. This nice tech pouch or miscellaneous cosmetic type pouch. It is not plastic lined though. So if that's a concern for you, then you would want to buy the separate cosmetic pieces. Yeah, so it's just a plain pouch. Thank you, Jean. Um, okay. This next piece is actually the Compact Travel Cosmetic. This is a new style. Um, it's factory style. Um, I think, oh, there's Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Kelly likes Jean. She always checks in. This is what she does when I'm talking to myself. Hi. Oh, yeah. We're good. Okay, off. Off. Good girl. Sorry. Um, okay, so this replaces the old medium cosmetic, which is unfortunate in a way because... I really liked that style, but I also do like this a lot. Um, it's not quite triangular. It has a little bit of arch to the top there, kind of curves over, but the base has a little bit more. And inside, it's plastic lined. The old medium cosmetics did not have that plastic lining, so that is kind of a, a nice bonus. Stay slightly smaller, I think, capacity-wise. Um, but yeah, it's good. And again, that goes perfectly with the large Glenna, don't you think? Yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. Um, and then I also got the factory style coin purse in the same Stellar Paisley. It has just a slip pocket on the front and a zipper section. Pretty simple. It's not any special lining or anything, just basic. And all of these do have ribbon zipper pulls and they do say Vera Bradley on them. So I know there's been a lot of transition for the zipper pulls. Um, does the, uh, do the ones from the inside of this yeah, the ones from inside the three-piece don't actually have a zipper pull at all. I mean, no ribbon or anything, just a zipper. Just a zipper. Yeah, that's just a difference. Okay, and then the other piece I got is a hair accessories kit. Now, a little side story here, because I thought this was like, okay, this is the medium size and, a, and a, like a mini or a small size. That's what I thought when I picked this up. Um, they didn't have any of these in the Stellar Paisley, I think because it's still kind of a newer pattern. And, you know, sometimes the outlets don't get mm. the full line immediately and it trickles out. It's kind of a problem. But anyway, um, so I thought this goes great with all my previous. Unbeknownst to me, this is not that. This is actually a hair accessories kit. 
So total surprise when I got home and I opened it up and inside there was things. <laughs> so here, do you want to see those? Um, the pouch itself is just a nylon. It's not plastic coated like the cosmetic is, but I think it's a great size. Large coin purse, small tech pouch. It's got a little size to it. You have a scrunchie in the blue, blue island medallion and you have the clear plastic, you know, springy one for hair tie. And then you have a headband. It's kind of a thin but st stretchy, isn't it? A little bit. Yeah. 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 So it's kind of fun. I'm not a big headband, but great for sports stuff or people who have hair that is conducive to that. And you don't have to store it in your little pouch. I'm going to use that pouch with all of my Blue Island medallion, which, by the way, is a lot. <laughs> I'm sure it is. A lot, yeah. <laughs> and then I got this piece. Now, they had a bunch of Harry Potter stuff, and it was all 50% off, which is amazing because mm. Harry Potter and Disney usually never go on sale. Oh, don't they? Oh. Yeah. So it was, one, imp impressed that they had it there, and two, that it was on sale. Unfortunately, you like it's all limited edition, so I pay mm. full price up front, mm. which then it goes on sale. I'm like, damn it, why do I get that? We call it FOMO, fear of missing out. So I get FOMO a lot. <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. But this is a zip ID and lanyard combo. It's the Gryffindor um, elements, I think it's called. Mm. So it has all the bits. Yeah, there you go. Hold up close. And you can see like the Gryffindor stuff. And then it has the stripes. For Gryffindor. There's Uncle Russ. <laughs> uh, he's not interested in the videos. And that bark is Nugget, which we're going to lead right into in a moment. Yeah, anyways, that's a... You can buy those pieces separately, and the only difference of buying the set is you get one less ring on it. But anyway, I bought that for my sister-in-law because I already have the exact same thing. Um, but I also bought her this one, which is the Hogwarts one. What is it called? Just Hogwarts. And this one is slightly different because it's actually a corduroy. It's soft though, isn't it? Yes. It's yeah. a nice soft corduroy and it has the Hogwarts crest and then the inside has that Hogwarts pattern which is in a black background and it has all the Hogwarts stuff on there. I don't think so, yeah. Not so well in the in the light here. Maybe if you move it back it, just a little into the light. No, it's, it's just a dark it's inside. Very dark. But they've seen the pattern well, before. Good. Oh, that's yeah, that. yeah, you got the clear ID side and then the main pocket. So a lot of people use those as a little wallet or a business card carrier or random things. Like when I'm traveling or I go to the parks, I use that as my park wallet. I put on the you lanyard type. Yeah, yeah, you can see it a little bit there. Um, but that's the home to Hogwarts interior. So they had it in the, the different colors. Anyway, and now this is not new. That's the end of the haul. This is not new today, but this is the set that I bought for Uncle Russ's Christmas. We already did our Christmas exchange. And um, I bought it for Nugget, their little Scotty dog. So I talked about it both. But here's what we've got. We've got the collar, the handkerchief thing, the poo bag holder, and the leash all together. We got the whole set. And, oh gosh, what's the name of it? It's uh. It's the holiday plaid, the brand new one that just came out. No, I took everything off already. So, we're showing this because you didn't get to see it unwrapped before. And uh, we're going to put it on Nugget and do a little fashion show. He's got some nice little outfits. So, you get to see her adorable little doggy Scotty. And we'll do that next. That's it. Anything else you'd like to add? No, I don't think so. All right. Well done, Miss Jean. We did a good haul. We'll say bye for now. Bye. <laughs>